All right, welcome to D&D Tyranny of Dragons session 50, Getting Out Alive. Are you guys all ready here? I think uh, so. We are. Uh, yeah. yeah. All right. Zorn's still here. We're good to go. Neat. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> first and foremost, congrats. That's 50 sessions in the books starting tonight. Man, mm -hmm. five zero. 50. Big a lot. 50. So good. <laughs> it's a lot I'm, of D&D. I'm, 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 I'm tracking... I've never been I'm, invested in the character before. Yeah, I'm, I'm tracking that uh, 200 session mark for the entire channel, which is going to be coming up very soon. That's so we're right. a quarter of the channel? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, we're at it's been going on a long time. We're at 185 right now for the channel. So, uh, yeah, this covers over a quarter of it. So sometime in early May. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Well, before we get into session 50, let's go ahead and talk about 49. Your last session. Uh, you started off with a fight that I thought would be a lot different than what it ended up being. Uh, you were. <laughs> Face to face with an Afridi, a very powerful elemental uh, that was trapped in this room, and Maximilian decided to free him. Uh, he was happy to be freed, so happy that he decided to take out all of his hundreds of years of frustration upon his rescuers, which was you. Didn't really have a chance to do so, though, as he was perpetually stunned, knocked to the ground, paralyzed, and just absolutely wailed on uh, by the group. He didn't even get an attack off, unfortunately, for this poor Afridi. Poor guy. Uh, but Picked yeah. the wrong group to fuck with. <laughs> it, was, it was a bad time for him. Uh, was uh, That was a hard encounter for the group, but not after that. Uh, so yeah, you took care of this Afridi, uh, sending him back to the elemental plane of fire, you assumed, as his body just turned to ash before you. Didn't find anything, really, except for this old chest set in the room. No loot to be had, really. As you ventured further into this dungeon down below Zonthal's tower, you found another room with a bunch of, or two very large um, hourglasses within it. And as you looked across them, you saw that there was machinations of chains and such that seemed to allow you to flip them, but any magic or purpose seemed to be dormant from these hourglasses. However, despite these things being somewhat extravagant, another sight caught your eye in this room. A person that you had seen at the top of the tower who seemed to be this Iskander, who had summoned you to it, a uh, betrayer of the Cult of the Dragon, one that said that he had the blue dragon mask and would give it to you uh, for his safety, and you taking him away from this tower, lies dead on the floor. Uh, his wounds obviously coming from the elementals you had run into previously here in the dungeons uh, he had succumbed to. You looked over his body, you found a couple things, but the most notable was that he was true to his word. A blue dragon mask lied on his person. Or rather, a dragon mask that resembled the kind of features of a blue dragon. The party decided almost immediately for someone to go ahead and put it on. Um, and uh, I think y'all rested, if I remember correctly. Uh, in that process, Ignalia donned the mask and found that it didn't come off her face. It was stuck there, which was a bit unsettling, but she felt a good amount of magical power coming from this item as well, so it seemed okay. After this revelation, you decided to move back across this gate, this not gateway, but uh, pathway across this infinite space down this hallway. Uh, you had passed over it before, but found a side door that you decided to venture into as you came back down this pathway. Inside, you had found a small room with some minor things in it. It seemed to be a study, uh, for the most part. You found a bunch of books that seemed to be relevant to all sorts of different topics. Uh, but in your investigation, you didn't really find a whole lot else within it. And with that, you sat down, knowing that there was one more room uh, that you wanted to venture into off of... Uh, the room that you had fought the elementals in. Inside of it, you found another laboratory, I suppose, is what it looked like to you. But in the middle of it, you saw this whirlwind. If 
about 10 feet across or so, stretched from floor to ceiling, and it just kept swirling, and you saw a number of sparkling gems swirling within this whirlwind. Stone Skull decided he wanted the gems, so he reached out Gleam Edge, and as soon as he did, he disrupted this whirlwind, and one of the gems smashed onto the floor. An elemental popped up from where this gem uh, smashed into the floor, and it was not happy with you. Uh, combat broke out once again, and during this combat, Terra, unaware of exactly where the location of this whirlwind was, sent Mr. Pebbles, doing his due diligence to attack this earth elemental, straight into the whirlwind, knocking another gem out, and a second elemental, this time one of air, was summoned, and also began to attack you. Combat was surprisingly difficult for you. Uh, the air elemental was causing a lot of issues, not able to fully throw you around and such, though its torrent of wind was difficult to attack through and such, but uh, got hit a few times and it was just taking more time than was usual, I suppose, for this fight. But ultimately, you were able to slay the two air elementals, and then one of you, with a stroke of brilliance, was able to cast a spell magic upon the whirlwind itself, removing its permanency, and the remaining gems fall t fell to the floor. Uh, and with that, you grabbed the gems and headed back down to where you had entered the dungeon, this teleportation circle that seemed to allow you to transfer yourselves within the tower itself. As you did so, you decided to go somewhere new, somewhere you hadn't been before. Instead of opting to try to find a way out, you wanted to explore the tower. As you did so, you found yourself in a lounge area that was populated by several cultists who were ready for you and immediately attacked. More combat broke out, and this time you were caught a little bit unaware as one of the cultists ran up, hit the teleportation circle's control mechanism, and sent most of the party to a different room. Uh, but after a brief panic, you transported yourselves back into the room and slayed all of the cult fanatics here in this room. Uh, with that, you headed to a new area within this tower. It appeared to be a series of jail cells. Uh, after emerging in this cramped, dark room, you moved out and you found several more cultists in here, but all of them extremely weak and not ready for you at all, uh, to the point where a fight wasn't even necessary. You just slayed them as they tried to skirt around running away from you, but unable to get back through the door due to the party, uh, were all killed. The final area uh, that you decided to go through this, with the symbol, which symbol it was, it was the rectangle, actually. Uh, you found a bit of an odd sight before you. This altar was set up with two large dragon arms. Uh, you assumed belonging to the dragon skeleton that you had seen in the lounge earlier. Uh, were centered in the mo uh, middle of the room, and a bunch of cultists were within it, who all, of course, immediately attacked you on sight. Uh, another round of combat broke out, and you were handling things quite well, but Terra and Mr. Stone Skull, uh, or Mr. Pebbles, rather, uh, ran up into the middle room and saw that the dragon arms were actually not quite as inert as they initially appeared and were thrashing about trying to attack you all. A couple of the spellcasters in this group of cultists gave you a bit of trouble summoning great, powerful area of effect spells uh, that caused you a bit of trouble and actually almost killed Bear Friend, uh, which would have been mighty unfortunate, especially for anybody that saw Stone Skull afterwards. Uh, but ultimately, once again, you were able to succeed in this combat. And after slaying all of them, you feel that you've gone through all the levels of Xanthal's Tower. Especially since all of the symbols, minus one, have been exhausted up until this point. Start tonight's session. Hooray! So you're still in this um, shrine-like area. The limbs and claws of this dragon now do seem to be permanently inert now that the spellcasters that controlled them or commanded them are now dead. Found a little bit of loot on the bodies here, but otherwise the room doesn't seem to have much into it except for some notes and scrolls that seem to pertain to Draco Liches, but nothing else of value. What do you want to do? Um, 
Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but did we discuss trying to rest before heading out? Because we... Uh, I don't we, think so. Okay. Well, we can, for sure. Yeah, so... At, at this not. point, at this point, even though we know teleportation isn't going to be something that's going to be difficult for us, like we just have to get out, I would just feel better knowing that I've rested, especially since I have no uh, uh, rage left. Yeah, well, I, would, uh, I would definitely like to rest. We've got the the key. To the dungeon, we've got the. Um, I can't think of the word. The oh, the hourglass sand, thing. The hourglass. Yeah. Thank you. It was like sand timer. It's like the sand timer. thing. Yeah. The sand uh, timer. So if we've got the key and we're the only ones who can get down there, it seems like a perfect spot, especially before we try and venture back out through the maze, even though it looks open. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't want to get caught in it. We're gonna make another trip back. And if words out that. <clears throat> Anybody knows we've got this mask. There, uh, there might be people waiting on us. Like now, we have to be be very careful until we get back to Waterdeep. Yeah, we need to get out of here fast. And at least if we go somewhere in the dungeon, we can back ourselves into a corner and keep our eye on one door instead of worrying about this stupid portal that will allow people in from multiple different levels to continue to come in. Yeah, for sure. Um, I also think we need to destroy this. Um, altar right here. Yeah. Uh, nominating Terra to see its deconstruction. Okay. Um. You get a hammer and you're really good with stones. Let's let's take this big clump, this big uh, chunk of stone, and make it into gravel. Yeah, I mean, I'm, we could just start hitting it with a hammer, using mold earth and whatever we need to do. Okay. Um, I don't think Mold Earth will help you too much with that because it is work stone. I think that's caveat of Mold Earth. Oh, nope, it's not. So yeah, you could use Mold Earth to uh, start kind of melting away the altar if you so choose. Yeah, we'll, we'll make it happen. Okay, uh, it'll take you 15, 20 minutes or so uh, to do so, but you'd be able to. Yeah, I'll spend my time doing that right now. And uh, I will help with that. Um, what do I have that I can maybe help with? Um, I think I have masonry tools I can maybe use to help break some of it up without destroying my weapons. Uh, yeah. Maybe. I'll probably do that. Yeah, yeah okay. masonry tools will be able to do that. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I'll do the same, just doing whatever I can to try to help Terra to expedite this process. Okay. Uh, yeah, that'll cut it down to about five minutes of work overall, uh, for all of you kind of helping in with that. Uh, you'll be able to kind of crush this altar, uh, as well as the bones and such, into nothing more than a pulp for the most part. Nothing compared to, uh, it's somewhat delicate grandeur that it was when you first entered the room. Okay. And then we and see. then before we leave, Terra's gonna use Mulder to write Terra's Tower of Terror. <laughs> in the in the dirt. Okay. The triple T. Terra's Tower of Terror. Got it. So what's the plan? What are you gonna do? Um yeah, just make sure that yeah, no, there's not gonna be any Draco liches coming out of this thing. Yeah, um, and then head uh, back down to the dungeon. Yeah, uh -huh. dungeon and try to back ourselves into a room and maybe borrow it up and try to uh, rest before venturing back to Waterdeep. All oh, hourglass rooms, we should be completely safe there, right? Yeah, yeah I think we hourglass. Hourglass takes us to the dungeon, and then we could just try to find a, a room that we can bl barricade ourselves into. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. Alright, well... 
your buffs go through or fall off rather. Yeah. Um, I'm not flying anywhere either. And uh, how much time's left on that? Uh, less than an hour. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's marked as actually it's marked as two. Uh, we short rested. Oh, right. You are absolutely yeah. right. Yep. So that should be one. And yeah, it'll roll off by the time we get settled in the basement, I imagine. Yeah. By the time you're able to get down there and start getting settled. Oops. <laughs> Click on stuff and it's just... He's not working. There we go. Yeah. Alright, so for the sake of simplicity here... Nope, not that. That. Ah, I am disappointed. Right. Are we All missing right. somebody? Oh, are you? I, I think I'm still under the. No, I'm right here. Oh, um, Mr. Pebbles is no longer right now. Uh, I I didn't see That's Rogar. Good. He was under uh, Ignalia, which sounds really bad. And I should have thought about how I was raising that. <laughs> I pull back my cloak and for my first trick. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. right. So y'all can find a room you want to go to, a uh, room that had the elemental gems in it or what have you. No, not that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Oh, it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's clear now. It's good. And then again, oh, I also don't want to cross the fucking hallway again. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm not crossing the hallway again. <laughs> Here's Why good. not? Because I'm out of spell slots. And uh, Bear Friend might be a little resistant to that idea after doing so twice now. Hmm. Yeah, we could probably barricade ourselves in here. Alright, so that's the plan using that room and try to take a, I'm assuming, a long rest. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. Uh, what's the watch order going to be? Uh, I'll get mine out of the way early. Uh, or I'll get my rest out of the way early. That way I could take the, the last shift. Um. Yeah, we what one? All right, we can just can do it. And... Take first. As long as you keep or don't keep watch for any longer than two hours, then you'll still get the benefits of long rest at the end of the eight. Yeah. Oh, huh, perfect. Yeah, I'll uh. I'll take first. I'll take, I'll take fourth. So if we can get a second and third, we'll be all set. Cool. I'll, I'll rock number two. I got three then. I'll hop on two. How about you hop on one with me? Since, you know, yeah, my sight's true. limited. You are in fact blind. She is in fact blind. So you say. Probably good if we have somebody with eyesight on watch. And not just, not just that, but if it's like an air elemental, she'll never know what's coming, so... Uh, so Terra Rogar first. Who's on second? Uh, what Max and then Ignalia and then yeah. Stone Skull. Max on second. Ignalia's third. Stone Skull fourth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. So you all make your way into this room. I uh, imagine shutting the door behind you to give you uh, another layer of protection. Uh, inside this laboratory, Tara probably, and Rogar probably grab one of these cabinets or something and try to shimmy it over in front of the the door there. Yeah, you could be able to do so. It's not super big. Uh, yeah. This was probably about a four foot tall cabinet. Probably only weighs like yeah. 40 or 50 pounds, but something. But enough like to create a disturbance if somebody's trying to get in. Oh, for sure. All right, so during the first hour, about an hour, hour and a half or so goes by, kind of getting closer to the end of Terra and Rogar's watch. Uh, Terra and Rogar, both of y'all give me perception checks. Is mine based on sight? Uh, no. It still sucks. 
This is why you came, Steve. Rogar to the rescue. As you're both sitting there, uh, I imagine kind of discussing things with each other. You all, you, Rogar initially notices it first, but then Tara, you start noticing it as well. Uh, so I gave you advantage on that. Um, because what you notice isn't a sight or even a sound, really. It's like this quaking. You feel the ground kind of shaking just ever so slightly, these tremors going through. Oh, that's wonderful. You sit there for a few moments. Happens again. You feel another tremor rocking <laughs> the ground. It seems kind of all around you. <sighs> that's that's really it. true. No. Nope, that one wasn't me. I, I definitely felt it. But it, it's not uh, aggressive enough for like those of us resting to be disturbed by it. Nope. Should should we wake the other Steve, or or do you think it's just gonna pass us by? Uh, I want to think that it passes by, but if it doesn't... Alright, well, you, you go check and then just yell at me and I'll wake the others if anything's terrible. around us like, no yeah way. kind of all around you and once again you do know that you were probably underground in this dungeon based on what you're seeing around you you can feel and you know sense this tremoring just from all around you yeah something big is hitting the ground but it's it's pretty far off how often is it happening was that the only time uh, it happened the first time you noticed it, you waited a few minutes, and it happened four or five more times uh, before it seems to have stopped for the time being. Um. But let's we just... Rest and then we just yeah. let them know when they get up. If it gets closer, we'll wake them up. You know how Stone Skull gets if he doesn't sleep. You know how stuff <laughs> Alright. So, just gonna report that to next watch, and that's it? Yep. Alrighty, so the rest of your watch goes by. You do notice a tremor a couple more times during the next few minutes, but then it seems to die off for good, as far as you know. And you awaken Max, who takes over the next watch, and head to bed. Maximilian, as your watch over the next two hours goes on, it's pretty uneventful um, for the most part. Yeah, uh, you go through it after being made aware of the tremors and such that were happening. Uh, you listen and try to feel for it, but it doesn't seem to reoccur while you're awake and your watch passes by. Did you report to... Ignalia, I'd imagine. Yeah, Ignalia. Yeah. Um, what did I know that? Yeah, if, yeah, they felt. Yeah, it felt as if the tower was vibrating. Um, but I didn't feel anything. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. No, they're sensitive. Terra sensitive to vibrations. Perhaps it was just that. Mm, I should hope. <laughs> we need to get back to water team. Hmm. Get some rest. I'm gonna, you know, go in the big animal corner. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nestle up there. Seems comfortable. Mm -hmm. Big pillow. Everyone nestle into the bear. <laughs> All right. So as Ignalia takes over her watch, Maximilian falling asleep. Um, Ignalia, go ahead and give me a perception check. Oh boy, who's ready to die in their sleep? Yeah, not bad. Not bad. As you're sitting there, once again, about 30 minutes or so into your watch, 
much like what was described to you by Maximilian, you can feel uh, this tremoring. Uh, the ground shakes beneath you a bit. You see uh, bits and pieces of dust being shaken off of the walls. I think for a moment it might be enough to wake your comrades, but you see that they're still sleeping, uh, not noticing it. But you're definitely feeling like something is causing the area all around you to shake. Does this seem like, I don't know, like, uh, is it coming from, like, the ground around us? Or do, do I think it's coming from, like, above, like, the tower itself? Give me an inside check. <laughs> as you're feeling it 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 feels like you know it's hard to tell it just sounds you know it doesn't really make a whole lot of sound you just feel like this deep uh rumbling is really all you can perceive as you're thinking about it i mean it kind of reminds you of like some of the battlefields you've been on when fighting very large creatures uh to a degree but it just seems like it's far away from you I have nightmares about large purple worms. With a Y. <sighs> I don't know any dragons that color have it. <laughs> Alright, Good. I will mostly ignore it, unless it gets worse. <laughs> Alright, so as the rest of your watch goes on, you notice it a few more times. Uh, at one point it gets a bit more violent, but still not loud enough to wake your comrades. And the rest of your watch goes by. So wake Stone Skull up. Yeah. Head over and just... I imagine he's kind of hard to wake, so I kind of just slap him in the face a bit. No sleep. To which you wake up to a blue dragon masked figure looking you in the face. No sleep. <laughs> Stone Skull, it's time to wake up no. and praise be to Tia, man. No. I mean, yes, that is a correct answer, but no, seriously, get up, I'm tired. Uh, Alright, bear friend, come on. And we're gonna walk over to the door. And bear friend's gonna plop down right in front of the door, and Stone Skull is gonna let bear friend sleep right against the door while he watches. Alright. Alright. Go ahead and give me a perception check. Not terrible. That's good. Ignalia, did you uh, impart any of the recent events to Stone Skull? Yeah, I'd let him know that. You know, it happened once, not for Max, and then for me. Um, Stone Skull, as you're sitting there. Once again, about a, an hour and a half or so, kind of ending your watch, you're kind of stretching, you're able to tell that uh, everybody should be getting close to being fully rested here pretty soon. Um, you can feel, once again, this tremoring going through the ground uh, to the point where you see a couple of the uh, silver beakers and vials and such sitting on the shelf that you shoved in front of the door begin to shake and rattle, and everyone is awoken by this one. Awesome. Um, guys, uh, what was that? Is that what you were talking about? We, I, Tara. Yeah, yes. Is is that what was happening before? Yes. Yeah. It. I, it, it seemed further off a little bit, maybe. The real question is, were we able to complete our long rest? No long rest. No long you rest? Awoken. You uh, you do. You do oh, get okay. the benefit of a long rest. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought you said I was going to no. say, I mean, if not, that's fine. Uh, whatever. <laughs> we just wasted seven hours. That's fine. I don't care. Fine. Yeah. It's, it's fine. It's fine, Havoc. It's fine. I'm going to go back to sleep now and just die here. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I'll die in my comfy hole. <laughs> Resting up against bear friend, I don't care. All right, everybody up. Time to find out what this is. Yeah, 
Agreed. Be ready for anything. Yep. Hold on. Uh, can you move my token to the front? Uh, when I'm looking at that map, sure. Uh. <laughs> so, do we have any idea what time it was when we took our long rest here? We've been in this tower for a bit. Yeah. I'm just wondering if we made it to the next day so I can resummon Mr. Bubbles. I'm just gonna try. Does it work, Havoc? Um... It does. Yeah. It was evening when you set it, your uh, adventure into this place. Yeah. For about eight hours, it means it's probably early morning, mid-morning around there. Hard to tell exactly, though. Good. All right, are we you all still see? That's what, actually a quick question with this update that Roll20 did. Can you all see each other's health bars still? We can see health bars. We can't see numbers for each other. We can only see our own number. Yeah, I see Mr. Pebbles' mm -hmm. number and my number. Streambot can see everything, but I can only see my own token. All right. Can everybody see Tira's now? Yep. Yep. Alright, so I just need to change that to visible to everyone real quick. I mean, I was okay with just showing the health bar. That's true, actually. I kind of like seeing the numbers. Oh. Do you? I mean, you know, yeah, well, it I makes mean, it feel I mean, like I think it just feels, it, yeah, it feels almost too metagaming to know an exact number. Because, yeah, for healing purposes, but. It's up to y'all. I mean, to me, it personally doesn't matter. I don't care either way as the DM, so yeah. what's a good Whatever you guys you want, want to do. see numbers? Or? So my, my vote's still going to go for yay. Okay. Because <laughs> I do like it. <laughs> that would just get rid of the question, too, of on a scale of 1 to 114, how do you feel? Yeah, I'm just going to turn it on. All right. We'll see how it goes. All right. So you all wake up. Once again, the shutter going through the room to a point where everyone can feel it and is awoken by it. Still feeling rested enough to get the benefits of a long rest, but that was much louder than what y'all on the first couple watches, or first watch rather, um, noticed. I think I've got everybody. What do y'all want to do? <clears throat> um, let's go do what we do best and confront this thing head on. Or whatever this is. We need to get topside. We need yeah. the water deep. Yes. Yes, we do. If we see whatever that is along the way, though. Yeah. Uh, Once we get so... free of the maze, we'll contact McCaff. We'll get out of here. Ooh, stop, roll no. 20. Like he said, ew. <laughs> ew, roll 20. Ew. So yeah, back to the platform. Alright, so what's the plan, everybody? Just, you're going to use the... Uh, um, the one that y'all haven't used so far, uh, which is the right triangle. Um, wait. Once you get back up top. I didn't think the right triangle was here. It is not. Okay, yeah. Okay, so more so for outside. Oh, okay, yeah. So we'll go back up to the tower, and then once we get back in the tower, we'll hit the right triangle. Okay. Alrighty, if that is the plan, then we're going to theater the mind a little bit here real quick. All right. Ta -da. So... As you all find yourselves moving through back to the starting area of this dungeon, you hit one of the uh, symbols to lead you back into the tower. And as you've all noticed before, uh, except Terra, obviously, uh, there is a symbol that only only appears here in the tower level and not within the 
dungeon, which is the right triangle, the one symbol you haven't tried, and the one that you kind of assume based on its shape that kind of reminds you of a feature you saw recently. As you reach up to touch it, white light surrounds you once again as this teleportation circle activates within moments and transports you, your body's being ripped through t uh, space to another area. It's dark initially as you get your eyesight back, but you're able to start seeing the sky beginning to lighten up above you as you look up towards the sky, and you can tell that it's early morning, just as dawn seems to be approaching. As you're looking around, something feels off to all of you. Nothing you can see. You look around, you see the hedge mage maze around you. <laughs> Not hedge mage. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Do the, Did do it this again. again. Did it again. Uh, <laughs> hedge maze around you. Jeez, I don't know why that's so hard to say. <laughs> God. All right. So you see this hedge maze around you as you find yourself standing in the sundial area. It's a bit different, though. As you're standing within it now, you look and see that there aren't eight pathways, but only two. As you look behind you and through the dimming, you know, dim light around you, you're able to see the tower uh, back behind you. And as you look forward, you can see what appears to be the uh, edge of the hedge, hedge maze that you entered through with the small gate. However, you're seeing something different with this gate. The gate is missing a huge chunk from it. As you turn around again, what? you can all hear and feel a voice going, just booming this presence. Everyone give me perception checks. Rogar, Stone Skull, and Maximilian, as this voice echoes through its deep and guttural and familiar. As you start scanning the skies instinctively, all of you hearing the voice, but only three of you realizing what it's coming from. You hear this voice echoing around. The town lies in ruins. This is your last chance. Bring the mass to me, or I will kill the rest of them. The three of you that rolled above a 20 recognized this voice. It was foggy at first. There was recognition, but you couldn't tell why. Until you remember, some months ago, in a little village called Greenest, you heard a similar voice. There was a blue dragon oh. that was attacking oh. this village. A blue dragon oh, no. named Linathon. Lucky enough, you never faced off face to face, but you can remember his voice. F that guy. He's dead. <laughs> um, yelling back like into the sky. I'm assuming I don't see anything, right? Don't see anything, no. Booming voice. When we find you, those words will have been your last. You say that, you hear a brief pause as you yell it out into all around you, and you hear a low grumbling kind of chuckle. It says, <laughs> if you think so, come to the village, lest I kill the rest of them. Let's go. Full speed, right? I mean, yes. yeah. Yeah, no, we're not fucking around with that. We're, we're going straight for this. All right. Yeah. I'm sorry to say, we don't really have much of a choice because I can't take it off my face. No, that's a shame. I know. It's almost like morally justified bloodletting. Oh. oh. This is righteous justice. As you rush back down the pathway, heading towards this gate, uh, not having to go through the maze uh, this time, but being able to exit out of it directly, you exit through the torn apart gate, and then you can start to see, as you leave the area of Xanthal's tower, you start to see what could have been, what was the cause of all this commotion that you felt underneath down in the dungeon. 
You see the village, also called Zonthal's Tower, in ruin. Several buildings have collapsed all around you. Even more of them are standing but on fire. Deep tears through them. As you're looking around, you see people dead. Burnt to a crisp, some of them. Other ones ripped and gruesome wounds throughout them. You're looking to the north. It's still dark, but you're able to see the silhouette and as the sun begins to rise a bit more, casting light over the area, you see the silhouette is what you thought it was. A large blue dragon is perched on the road uh, that leads directly through Zonthal's tower. And as you look up, you can see his gaze turning towards you. And as he turns back around to his west, he says, I got bored waiting on you. There aren't many left now. Give me the mask. Um, I imagine as he's talking, I'm just charging right at him. He can keep talking. He can talk as much as he wants. And I should now. be half-sized and... Uh, yeah, I copied these earlier. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't shrink it down. Oh. All right, so as all of you are charging forward, him obviously prepared for you. <laughs> Uh, you're able to just catch sight of a few uh, people standing near this dragon, cowering up against the side of a building. Uh, but as you all start moving forward, um, I, need, I need to roll for initiative. I'll see you at the bottom of the list, Tara. <laughs> Where we belong. Hey. No, oh, this is all wrong. Oh, what? What is this? Apparently, I didn't select my. Alright, so, uh. Hey, that was more like. There lighting. it is. <laughs> there she is. You know what? I, I'll come visit you, Tara. No, no, no. I'm, you are visiting me. Uh, I rolled an 18. Oh. Is that like the best average group initiative we've ever had? Probably. Pretty solid, not gonna lie. We got business with this guy. Why are alerts not working? Real quick. Alright, everybody's initiative is right, right? That yeah, looks right. Alright. Alright, so as the group of you start taking off running down, uh, you see... Um, Linathon, this somewhat old uh, blue dragon looking towards you and you can you can tell that he's just sneering at you as his tail whips out towards where the people are and you see this body's rolling and being torn apart by it as he silences the rest of the people that he had before him with his held action and with that we're gonna go ahead and start combat maximilian oh yeah and you know what it's great going first with everybody right here next to me we are casting heroism in the fourth level spell and i am touching all four of my companions yeah <clears throat> and in the same breath i am going to give um stone's call the point of inspiration and i am going to take flight um and go above one of these houses, 20 feet in the air. What's your spellcasting ability modifier? Charisma. Five. Five, okay. Yeah. Do something different here. Uh, how high are you flying? 20 feet. Ooh. I like that. All right, so that bar will represent how high you are off the ground. I can't see anything. All right. Yeah. Uh, I guess I could hide you... that one as well. Yeah, I can see it. You can, because you have control over everybody's tokens. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, so Maximilian running around, had enough movement to touch everyone as he begins concentrating on the spell, uh, giving everyone... <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, five additional hit points, uh, temp hit points rather, uh, and you can just go ahead and put that on like your bar, 
uh, a plus five, and it'll show a little plus sign on your bar, uh, showing that you have ten hit points. It's uh, another part of the token update they just put out. So, with that, whispering or yelling out words of inspiration to Stone Skull, we move on to the man himself, Stone Skull. All right. Uh, can you bring my token to the front for me? I was trying to get huh? back on top of Bear Friend, but oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's uh, charge right in. So, uh, full speed ahead for Bear Friend. Maybe. For all 20, we'll cooperate. There we go. Um, and. not close enough um i'm gonna go ahead and rage for a bonus action um, okay and uh can i use my can i use my primary can i use my primary action to down a potion too yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to take my last uh, uh, psychic resistance one just in case. So I'll have resistance everything now. And that'll be my turn. All right. Stone Skull That's hopping bad. onto Bear Friend as they both start charging forward, heading towards this dragon that's still on the ground. Uh, you see Stone Skull galloping along on the back of this bear, chucking another potion. Rogar. Uh, it's too far to double move, so I'll just move up right up behind. Um, don't go. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. All right. So charging forward as well, heading towards this dragon, Terra. Okay. I'm going to move forward to right here. And we're going to give Stone Skull an Aegis. Yeah, Stone Skull's getting all the buffs. And then I am going to Twin Spell Haste on Stone Skull and Ignalia. All the buffs. <sighs> okay. And then I'm going to step back five feet and that'll limit her. Alright, Terra moves forward, begins throwing out uh, buffs to everyone. Stone Skull just getting beefed up as he continues charging on Bear Friend's back. Ignalia. I'm going to advise everyone gaze upon my splendor as I let out the wings and then ignite them on fire. <laughs> okay. Ooh. And I need to know, does everyone uh, gaze upon my splendor? Uh, it's dark and you are now the bright light of hope and catching everybody's gaze. Do you feel my splendor? <laughs> God damn it, Zora. Tara, uh, Tara's sure. looking over here as she hears flames burning somewhere. It's like, huh, what's that? What is that? Yeah, that's close enough. Does anyone not? And I promise this as a point. All right, good. Uh, I'm gonna no. cast Bless at level three, and we all get Bless. Ooh. Since a uh, second action from haste. Well, I officially have everything, every possible right. buff that I can have right now. There's the thunder. Just everything. <laughs> My splendor is real. I know. <laughs> yeah, the skies quake under your presence. Uh, 30 feet. Everybody's within 30, I'd imagine. Yeah. Uh, I can move the bed first, then. Okay, yeah. Let's see. Stone Skull needs to be in range. 
Uh, You're there. That'll hit everybody. Yeah, okay. If you were up yeah, like next to I'm gonna fly. Like. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna fly over in this direction, so I can stop like midway, and uh, get him when I'm like here. Okay. Turn that off, actually. All right. How high at the ground are you getting? <clears throat> Uh, so movement's doubled, so I'm moving 30 feet this way, and I'm going to go 30 feet up. Alright. And that's my turn. Alright. Okay, so Ignalia blessing everyone as she erupts in flaming wings, flying up in the air, blessing everyone... Uh, with a third slot, so blessing five people, so everybody, yeah, everybody yeah. but Mr. Pebbles. All right, alrighty, so yeah, you know, it takes off into the air moving forward as well. Then a thought's turn. Yeah. Seeing all of you beginning to move forward, he is going to raise his head up once again, yelling out loud says the mask fools the mask is what i've come for give it to me and i'll leave what's left of these crawling ants with their miserable lives the queen is returning who are you to hope to stop her give me the mask he is going to start moving he too is going to fly up into the air yeah no nah, mate uh, should i tell him <laughs> Uh, I'll let y'all see that just for reference. 40 feet into the air as he bounds upwards with one mighty jump, flying 40 feet into the air. And then he's going to look down towards the ground. And he is going to... cast his lightning breath in a straight line. This line is going to rip across the ground 90 feet straight down this way, trying to hit as many people as he can. So I need Terra and Rogar to give me dexterity saving throws, please. Hmm. Our saves will take no damage due to evasion. Terra, unfortunately, is unable to dodge. We'll absorb half of this damage, so still only taking half. Uh, of 48 points, so 24 points of lightning damage as this breath weapon rips across the ground, just this laser of beam just tearing up the ground, making it very obvious what tore most of these buildings apart. 12d damage. Like, I don't want to see that come apart. <laughs> it's fine. Alright. And with that, 40 feet in the air, uh, he is going to fly an additional 40 feet straight up, getting to 80 feet into the air. All right, Maximilian. 80 feet up into the air, huh? Yep. I am going to start moving towards Stone Skull. Um, actually, as I pass by Terra here, I'm going to lower myself. What do I have to be? Five feet off the ground and still touch her? Is that how? Uh, yes. Well, okay. ten feet off the ground. Okay. Then I'll lower myself to ten feet off the ground. <clears throat> and um, unload my medic spell. No. <clears throat> give her a 11 hit points back. And then I will give her a point of inspiration as well. Nothing's working. All right. <clears throat> and yeah, that'll have to do it for right now. Gotta figure out what to do with this flying dragon. Alright, so you are 
10 feet off the ground. Healing up Terra, giving her inspiration as you start looking back towards this dragon. Uh, the light of the sun with dawn setting in, uh, enough for all of you to see him now. So you guys can uh, no see disadvantage what on you're that. talking about, about the character sheet and the way it's set up. If I can get it to expand. Yep, gotta remember your buffs. So Stone Skull. Everything's here and here. Um, okay. Um, he's way too high for me to do anything. What's that? Bless wouldn't have saved me. That's why I didn't roll. Yeah. Um, oh, gonna get closer, but he's way too high up in the air for me to be able to help him or to, to do anything. So uh, rage is gonna have to fall off. Okay. Um. How high up is he? 80 feet. Yeah, why not? Because fuck this guy. Ugh. 15 to hit? Uh, streams out. You see it going up, but it just it hits into this blue dragon, but its scales completely block any kind of damage. Always happens. It's performance anxiety with this thing. I can't do anything <laughs> with it. Um, you don't want to look bad using your first magic item. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody look at me. Don't look at me. Stop looking at me. You're sc you did this. You messed it up. Um, fuck it. I've got to. I've got to take rage again, just just to be safe. Right. And then if this doesn't work, then I'll hold it until he's grounded. I guess. And that'll be my turn. All right, Stone Skull galloping on the ground down beno beneath Linathon, but just unable to really do anything, not having anything great enough range aside from this orb of Dragon's Breath, which does have the range, just can't seem to hit solidly. Mm -hmm. Rogar. All right, uh, we'll move over here. Uh, pull the longbow and hope for the best. All right. Uh, 26 will hit. Uh, no sneak attack. No sneak. It's just... It's the night. Alright. Yeah, you Are see you the arrow sinking in... Dragon slang? No, because every time I roll, there's dragon slang I miss. So we can't so. use them, ever. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, you're fighting a dragon. It's okay. Waiting for it to get serious before he starts breaking those out, I guess. All right, yeah, your longbow uh, arrow hits. Anything else? Uh, nope. All right, firing it off. You see the arrow streaming up, kind of wobbling at the end of its trajectory, but enough force behind it to pierce into Linathon's uh, scales. Uh, you assume damaging him. It, it went into his skin. Doesn't look like it bothered him at all, though. Terra. Alrighty. You felt the dragon. It's gone. I'm going to move up here and use a free action to scream at Stone Skull. Where is he? Straight up in the air. Straight up above you. Yes. All right. And then I am going to, at disadvantage, try and hit him with an Earth Bolt. And I'm going to, what's your... Inspiration now, 1d8? Yes, oh. correct. And then, so, 19. 19 will hit. Awesome. Good direction, so cool. Yeah, and bless you. If you wanted. You really didn't feel my splendor, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So 11 piercing. Okay. Plus works on damage, right? No, oh, just attack rolls. Oh. And saving yeah. throws. So with... 
Hmm. With bless, you would add a 17 plus 6, so 23. This bless kicks in no matter what. Yeah, oh, gotcha. Alrighty. And uh, I'm actually going to end my turn there. Okay. Or sorry, uh, if you had rolled a 4, but whatever. All right, so Tara uh, asking Stone Skull for direction. She can hear the flapping of his wings. It's not a quiet thing, giving her a general direction, but a straight up is enough to see her firing it off. You see it just off center, uh, going up and hitting kind of uh, one of his legs. Uh, you see his leg kind of bracing against the impact. Not doing a whole lot to him, but uh, it was a hit, solid hit. Ignalia. All right, uh, I will... Yeah, Stream move must have died. just 30 feet closer, still 30 feet up, uh, and I'll start by launching a firebolt at him. Okay. So that works. I think I got it. Uh, 19 total to hit. Uh, 19 will hit. Okay, uh, he takes 21 fire damage, because the mount, uh, mantle is up. Okay. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, it's fixed now. Sort uh, of. He takes 21 fire damage, and he takes 12 radiant damage. Because radiant soul also procs on any damage. Yeah, it's fixed. Cool. Yay. Okay. Uh, you said it was 12, right? right <clears throat> yep. It's uh, okay. equal to current level. Gotcha. All right. Um, hmm. Yeah, you know, like, I've got this extra action and a bonus action. All right. I will, uh, with the next 30 feet, move another... 30 feet up in the air, just so I'm a little bit closer to him. Alright, 60 feet up now. And I will... Yeah, why not? Uh, I'm going to cast Hold Monster on him with a Quicken Spell. Alright, 90 feet, you were within range, so he has to make a wisdom saving throw. Yeah, burn oh. those saves. <laughs> Alright, so you feel Where's your spell taking time. effect, uh, ripping into his mind, forcing him. You see him stuttering for just a second, and then he breaks free of your will, breaking the spell. That's one. Alright. Yep, that's my turn. All right, so Firebolt hitting, doing radiant and fire damage. You see him wobbling in the air as he feels the psychic presence entering his mind. He breaks free of it, but he's turning towards Ignalia now as his turn comes up. All right, seeing Ignalia being the closest to him, flying up into the air, he soars down 20 feet, be on the level with Ignalia. Ooh. Ooh. That was good timing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Perfect. The sky opens up. You feel three attacks coming out at you, Ignalia. Uh, one bite and two claw attacks. 25 on the bite. Natural one on the claw. And a 22 on the second claw. Um, yeah. Well, only one of them hits me. So I will right. take the bite damage. Alright, so 19 piercing and a whole one lightning damage. And then con save for bless. Yep. Uh, just con save for bless. Real quick. So. Oh god, why? Brain. Brain stopped. Y'all can hear that storm is coming in, so if I just vanish, that is why. If he doesn't come back in five effect? minutes, we get a level up in combat. I don't give a shit. That's what I heard. <laughs> it's combat. It's like, all right, we're leveled up. Let's go. Woo. All right. 
We've learned how to uh, fight a blue Draco Lich. Let's level up. Looks uh, like a Draco Lich. Will, yep, you will make your con save. So you keep Bless going. Yeah. Uh, Alright, that uh, is the end of his turn. Maximilian. <laughs> yeah. How high are they up again in the air? 60 feet. 60. The little red bars. You should be able to see the red numbers. bars. Yeah. Yeah, if you zoom in on the red oh, bar, yeah. you should be able to see it. Um. Alright, I am going to use my action to dash and get up next to Stone Skull. Alright. Um. And then. I'm going to cast. Oh no! Wait, that's my action to dash. Uh, not the bonus action. Um, I will give Ignalia a point of inspiration. All right, throwing I inspiration out. I get some candy. Yeah, everybody getting candy, and that'll end my turn. <clears throat> and oh, as, as a reaction, I'm gonna scream uh, Stone Skull. Loosen your feet in the saddles. We're going up. All right. All right. Uh, so Maximilian moves over, getting close to Stone Skull, instructing him. Uh, then he's going to help him try to get closer to the dragon, inspiring Ignalia as Thunder seems to just be radiating all around you. Stone Skull, it's your turn. Uh, Stone Skull listens to Max and uh, prepares, moving uh, Bear Friend more out of the way. Holy crap, I don't understand what's going on with uh, Roll20, but sucks tonight for me um yeah loosens uh rage is gonna drop again right. and that's it all right loosening your grip and such getting ready for what maximilian's about to do to you uh feeling less angry rogar less angry Confident in my bowing abilities, I'm going to knock the last arrow of Dragon Slain. Okay. Listen, I know I'm wearing a mask, just please don't shoot me. Okay. Try not. <clears throat> Getting confused. Dropping a bunch of frames too. Yeah, probably want to just. You've got bless. You have inspiration and bless. Why did I roll? No. I don't know why you roll 44. <laughs> I don't know why I Good okay. start. Oh, my. Now roll your bless. <laughs> or, sorry, your inspiration. The eight. Oh, <laughs> that was 17 to hit. You pull back your bow as you pull this it somewhat larger this. arrow that's got a 18. very barbed tip and black in its coloration, almost seem to be made out of uh, this 18. black metal metallic substance. You pull it back, struggling against the weight of it as you try to aim up, and as you do so, you let it fly, but at the very last second, you feel your arm and aim faltering. The arrow flies up into the air and just misses as Lenathon kind of moves his wing out of the way and falls back to the ground. It lands... Uh, your arrow is... I don't want to mark this. Over here. X is. Lands in the ground. You know that it still has its magical properties. It didn't break or anything. But it did not hit Linathon. What would Arun say if he saw you treating your arrows like that? <clears throat> right? Doesn't matter because Arun's do? dead. Yeah. You don't know that. <laughs> Yes, he ain't here. <laughs> yeah, he ain't here right now, is he? <laughs> he ain't here. At least Rogar can keep a hold of his bow. And then oh, have... he didn't break it. He didn't break it, did he? Ooh. I got evidence in my pack that says he broke <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anything else, Rogar? Havoc, please unveil Arun, the evil character, to come smite these assholes. It moves on towards the arrow to hopefully try again. Okay. 
<clears throat> Into your turn? Yep. Alright, Rogar starts taking off after his arrow, saying, I'll get him next time! Starts trudging across past these dead bodies of the villagers. Terra, you're able to feel Lenathon. Alright, for my bonus action, we're gonna go ahead and get Mr. Pebbles to move forward a little bit. Okay. And then we are going to shoot a Gaius fist at hell. And I don't think that the bless is going to matter, but I'll roll it. Do you have inspiration as well? No, I use that. Last round. Oh, yeah, you did. Yep. All right. Let me make sure about that. Okay, with a 15, uh, you see the Gaius fist, or you feel the Gaius fist flying through the air, uh, but it just crumbles away to nothing uh, without making impact. Uh, that will end Ready to watch some right. fun stuff, guys. Terra trying ready. to fight this opponent way up in the air. Ignalia, Linathon is in your face. I know. Has he noticed my, uh, you know, accessory yet? Oh yeah, he's looking directly at you. <laughs> oh good. Uh, good. Yeah, so after he, good, good. you know, grazes me with that bite and then misses two claws, I'm gonna kind of fly underneath and try to chop at his wing. Okay. <laughs> so oh yeah. Close. So Ooh. close. Ooh. Thirty I'm, will hit I won't though. Roll the <laughs> That's so okay. close. Um. Oh god. I'm just gonna. One away. Oh. Uh. Yeah. I'm gonna smite on this okay. too. Okay. Uh, so a total of, oh god, 42 radiant, 11 slashing. That was a, uh, level 3. <laughs> a lot of radiant damage. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this okay. is when I'm scary. <laughs> Only happens once for sure, but it's, it's beefy. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay. Definitely. So he is marked, um, with that extra action, I'm just gonna do... A uh, regular longsword against him. Okay. Uh, 23 to hit. Mm hmm. I will hit. I assume that's gonna be fine. Okay. Uh, so yeah, he takes his uh, extra 9 slashing. And I will. Yeah, fuck it. Uh, quicken spell. I'm gonna try to condemn him. <laughs> Alright. Do it. Come on, condemn him. Do it. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> does not matter. So unfortunate. Mm. Not Ugh, great. The nat one. All right. Okay. Roll that d100. This is as fuck. Roll all the way down. Here we go. All right. So as you're swinging the first time, hitting into this creature, uh, tearing through it with fire and radiant damage, or rather just radiant and uh, slashing through his scales, uh, you bring the blade back around trying to detonate your judgment on him and condemning him. As you do so, your blade just bounces off, some of the radiant energy just sinking out of it. Um, Jesus. As the thunder <laughs> crashes so once again. It's so perfect. <laughs> Especially with this encounter, it's perfect. It's so uh -huh. great. I'm having uh, the most epic fight up in the sky right now. <laughs> yeah, it's just thunder crashing all around you as uh, you're just wrapped up trying to connect with the spell. Uh, enemies will have advantage on their attack rolls against you until the end of your next turn. Woof. <laughs> oh boy. Ouch. You um, yourself open. Yeah, next? <laughs> well, Fine, Anything Nalia. else, Analia? Mm. Uh, hmm. <laughs> I don't think so, but I'll get back to you. No, it's <laughs> All right. Ignalia, flashes no, of radiant so. light surrounding her as well as the flame. Did Havoc just die? I think no. we just lost him. Did Havoc? He ah, you can't it. kill me now, bitch. No. <laughs> Maybe he'll just forget about the advantage thing. Uh, I'm we'll being level 10. Oh, or, being no, no, no. We got we to gotta wait five minutes. We just dinged. I <laughs> no, we just dinged very quick. 
Uh, that's funny. <laughs> Is Havoc here? Looks like he's here. I don't know. I'm yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, that would have been so funny, Havoc. <laughs> Let it thought's gonna rage on you now. All right. Uh, first and foremost. <laughs> All right. He is going to look down at you, and you hear him um, growling at you as you attack him as he lowers his head. Uh, he says, I will take that mask from you one way or another. No, you won't. And three attacks coming out with oh, advantage. Boy. 23. 30. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Natural 20. Thus. All right. Well, Let me get my calculator. Um, hmm. Oh, oh boy. Those damage rolls are kind of poopy, but... Yeah. Yeah, kind of poopy. Alright, so it's 11 from the hard. first one. 16 from the second one. 14 plus... Uh, 12 on the last one. 53 points of damage. Oh. Alright, uh, so I'm gonna use my reaction to cast shield, which will there only block the first one, and then immediately just get wrecked by his claw, but still. <laughs> You're remembering right, your it. haste AC bonus, right? Yeah, I'm already oh, yeah. factoring that in. <laughs> you rolled All a right. goddamn 30 and then a crit, like... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, not much yeah. you're gonna do against it. Um, okay. So, I still need to roll two 10 con saves, and what's the yep. new total, Havoc? Sorry. Uh, 53 minus the 11, you would have taken from that. 42 is the new total. Okay. First con save will be uh, a 10. Second one will be a uh, 13. Hold on, sorry. My like health bar disappeared for some reason, so I lost my hit points. Oop. That sucks. If, okay. I think I'm correct. I'm damn, damn close if I'm not. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. Bless do what drops. I think you're gonna do. All right. Everyone feels the radiant energy pulsing through you from this bless falling away. Unfortunately. No. Before I even got to use it. I haven't got to use anything. Who am I kidding? Well, that was an unfortunate turn. Don't worry, we're about to fix that, so let's go. <laughs> Alright, so that is his three attacks. Uh, yep, that's his turn. Lenathon is bound and determined to get the mask one way or another. Maximilian, your turn. Well, let's see if we can't throw a stone skull size monkey wrench in that thing. I'm going to move next to stone skull. And we are going to dimension door up to the top of the dragon. All right. Oh yeah, chat. This is happening. Oh yeah, it's happening. Put him to back, and you can move your tokens where you want to. Nice. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna. I imagine kind of grabbing him before the dimension door, like jumping up, putting my feet on his shoulders, and then when we get up in the air, use like extend my feet, propel his ass downwards onto the back of the dragon, and keep myself aloft. Uh, 20 feet above, so I'll be 80 feet here. Okay. And... I am going to cast... No, I can't. One spell. Never mind. Uh, yeah, that'll be it. Not my turn. Alright. So you and Stone Skull are teleported up into the sky. Thunder is still crackling all around you as you get up into the air. Uh, this dragon isn't expecting you. Uh, as Stone Skull tumbles down onto its back, uh, beginning your turn, Stone Skull. Go ahead and give me a uh, acrobatics or athletics check. All right, you fall down with a heavy thud. Doom! You see, you can feel Lindenadon kind of sinking down a little bit from the impact onto him, but you were able to grab onto his scales and hold your place there, not falling sixty feet to the ground. Uh, half my movement to stand and then the rest of it to kick to the back of this uh, beast uh, giving him a little boot from the boots of stomping <laughs> okay. digging in 
Uh, it doesn't fall prone. It doesn't fall prone, but it still takes the four. Uh, bludgeoning is more of like a, hey, pay attention to me. Uh, and as I do, uh, bonus action, rage, and then just going to land this thing. Blender 30,000. Uh, and we'll do so recklessly. <laughs> All right, natural 20 hits. 30 also hits. Oh, boy. Oh, and the 29 goodness. also hits. This is why you don't ignore me. He was trying to ignore you. He was trying to get away from this. Jesus. <laughs> hey, the Max's delivery, Blender delivery service. We got dragons. <laughs> We got problems. We got issues. We got answers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Under is still racking the air all around you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you yeah, need me to get a calculator? Though. I'm adding it up right now. Okay. 71 points of damage. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's fine. I'm good with that. Um... And then, oh, yeah. Um, While we're here. Yeah. Uh, might as well just uh, go all in and action surge and do it a couple more times. All right. Mm -hmm. Two more swipes. Mm -hmm. Seven will hit. You skip 28. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right so this one oh, Jesus. so this one's going to also get the uh, rend on the first one. And then the second one is as is. Holy shit, guys. That's a lot that's of a lot fucking of, that's damage. A lot of numbers you guys that is there. a lot of damage. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's a lot of damage. <laughs> that's a lot of damage. Um, yeah. And just going to, to prepare for this, this thing to be very angry at me. And that's uh, about it. Yeah. He is upset to say He's the least. Upset. All right, so and then Bear Friend's Stone gonna Skull. run away. Stone Skull appearing up in the air, uh, slamming onto the back of Linthon, swinging his uh, gleam edge through the air multiple times, just starts ripping and tearing scales away. Uh, you start to see like bone of spine and such down below your blade as you're just swiping back and forth <laughs> over and over again, uh, dealing just massive amounts of damage to him. You can feel the Linathon just crumbling and kind of uh, wailing out in pain. This bestial roar that seems to just tear apart, sounding like thunder echoing all around you. Uh, it, it hurt. He's very aware of you. Rogar. All right. Having my arrow. <laughs> Pick the arrow up off the ground, out of the ground. Trying make again. you do a strength check, because I'm a nice guy. Willie would totally make you do a strength check, though. 100%. A disadvantage. Because <laughs> it's really in there. <sighs> Alright, fire away. 23 hits. Yeah! It can happen. Uh, I gotta remember what that item does. Uh, uh, it's like an extra like 66 or something. Need a constitution saving throw. Okay. 19. Uh, he made it. And it's, yeah, it's an additional... 610. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Takes half. Take half of 6010. So go ahead and roll your 6010. Getting uh, 16 and 6 on that. All right. Roll the 6010. Five. All right. Uh, not bad. So that'll be not bad. Be good. Lanathon is still flying. Mm -hmm. He's gonna come crashing Anything down else? too. All right, so Rogar running across the field uh, over next to this fence where his arrow landed. Uh, once again, as he raises the bow up, this time you see uh, <laughs> lightning flashing, and you can see the silhouette clearly of Linathon firing off this arrow of dragon slaying. You see it hitting directly into his center. He curls and buckles a bit, uh, almost throwing Stone Skull off, but he's able to keep thrashing on his back. Uh, Dealing a good chunk of damage to him. Lenathon's starting to look pretty weak. Terra. 
Um, Terra is going to twin spell Gaius Fist. All right. There's the first one with Bless. Bless is gone. Nope. Never mind. The second one. Wow. Cool. Cool rolls. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Both of them going up there, having a present or a sense of where Lenathon is, you're able to fire him off somewhat accurately, but as he's being pummeled from above by Stone Skull and getting an arrow of Dragon Slaying to his chest, he just flails too much and both the guy's fists just stream past him, uh, not hitting. Anything else? I'll have uh, Mr. Pebbles move a little bit closer. Just All in right. case. Just in case. <laughs> and that will in my turn. <clears throat> All right, so with that, we go back to Ignalia. Huzzah. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm gonna at the your... end... Oh, wait, sorry. Uh, at the end of Terra's turn, a tail lashes out at you, Ignalia. Very good. Uh, 29. Doesn't yep. matter. Uh, one sec. Um... Yeah, I'm going to use uh, Warding Maneuver. Ugh, uh, 25. That'll put me at 27. Rage doesn't count. 25. No, my AC is hasted, so it's 23. Oh. So it's not enough. But you get resistance, no. so... If oh, it yeah, still hits, you'll good. get resistance for it. Okay. So, what is that? Six? Eight. Eight. I don't know. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, wow, how did I do that? <laughs> Brain is like, we're, yeah, calculations. Mm -hmm. All right. Taking a little damage. Uh, not having anything to concentrate on, though. It doesn't drop, so uh, you take a little bit more damage. What do you want to do? Uh, okay. Uh, hmm. All right. First action, I'm going to and I'll get use to my, uh, uh, lay on hands, healing hands on myself. Unwavering mark that okay. too. So just to regain a bunch of health. And then next action, uh, I will try to mark him again. All right, 23 hits, I believe. Uh, yes. Okay, uh, I'm going to smite. Uh, level four smite. Okay, uh, 10 bad. slashing and 44 radiant damage. Nice. Okay. And then quicken spell, let's try again. Try to, try to get it. Dude. <laughs> wow. That's twice, man. Oh. That's pretty poetic. Oh, that's rough. I haven't crit since like the first half of this game. <laughs> it's because okay. I took all of them. Did you try yeah, changing your color? Oh, I'm out of I have, yeah. I was hoping the Roll20 update might have fixed this. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, damn it. Open it back up. 70. It will use the regular table. All right. Uh, so as you're casting, what are the components of that spell? Uh... Vocal and somatic? Should be, yeah. I think that's what it was. Two minutes. Okay. All right. So as you're uh, driving home, doing a ton of damage with this first attack, uh, marking him, but as you try to detonate once again, uh, the radiant energy just doesn't seem to proc as you bite your tongue. Um, you will be unable to use verbal components to cast spells until the end of your next turn. I'd say okay, but I can't talk. <laughs> uh -huh. Fair. If you all just see blood leaking out of Ignalia's mouth. 
So it's dripping out of the dragon fang mask. Yeah, that looks <laughs> great. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Good visual. All right. Anything else? No. <laughs> All right. Uh. Okay. Into your turn, Linathon is going to flap his wings, trying to beat everyone around him away. Um, Stone Skull and Ignalia, both of you give me deck saves. Oh, I'm great at those. Especially we're flying with armor, yep. right? Alright. Stone Skull, give me one more. You do have inspiration, too. Mm hmm. You have inspiration. Eh, uh, yeah, I'll use it. So another seven on top of that, so 24. All right, so you both, as this, uh, these wings beat around you, you yeah, both take. Shit. Yep. There we go. 13 points of bludgeoning damage so uh, as seven. the force of them buffeting against you. No, um, six. Nox Ignalia, instead of knocking her prone, she's going to sink down without drawing a tap of attack of opportunity oh, right. uh, 10 feet uh, before you're able to catch yourself. Stone Skull, you're initially uh, knocked I'm prone from one. this uh, as you take this damage, and then you feel yourself slipping, but you're able to quickly grab hold of the scales and the wounds that you've, uh, these cuts through the scales, and you're able to grab hold and not fall off the dragon. Fantastic. Feeling Max's inspiring words yeah. saving you. Yes. <laughs> Alright. Now it's his turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh oh. He, breathing heavily, covered in wounds, is going to turn around, looking towards you all, uh, kind of looking around at Stone Skull standing on his back. He is going to look towards the mask on Ignalia's face, open his maw, and unleash lightning breath right in Ignalia's face. Cool. Uh, Dex save. What's it, what's it like to have a dragon's ire focused expressly on you? <laughs> I mean, pretty good when his element is, uh, you know, resisted by my mask. Mm -hmm. Nice. Wow. Oh. Wow. Oh, oh boy. No. Ooh, that cool. is 59 so, points of life. Still alive, damage. though. Still alive, so guys. Halved for the mask. Mm hmm. So that's. And then uh, take five off for me. 29. Oh, yeah, you're right. I forgot about that. Oh, uh, was that bludgeoning damage, by the way, <clears throat> Havoc? Yeah. Oh, okay. I need to add five points back to my health then. Because. Uh. Distance. Yeah, the the Aegis. The Aegis would uh, take bludgeoning damage. Yes, yes. It Five points worth of bludgeoning damage. All right. I, I would have teleported to you, but I really didn't think it was a good idea. This <laughs> yeah, time. No, probably not. And for the first time, all of you feel this familiar presence centers over all of you. Need everybody to give me wisdom saving throws. Uh, I'm afraid not, sir. Heroism? Heroism. Uh, oh, wait, no, it was blessed to drop. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Well done. It don't work. Well <laughs> done. This whole time he's been doing it, but uh, you just haven't been feeling it because of frightening. Uh, res or immune to frightened. All right. Uh, well okay, that's done. his turn then. He's looking pretty weak, Max. Yeah, he tried. No, that's it's the first time I've been able to go first. I haven't been just reacting to a dragon. I've actually been able to get everyone in a group and use it. Kind of nice, isn't uh, it? Yeah, I'm gonna stay inside his attack range and get down to Ignalia. Where you, so she was at 60, 20, down twenty. So she's at forty or fifty. I'm at forty. Fifty. Oh, dropped again. Okay. Um, Your bar still says fifty. Mm, that's height. And I'm going to cast uh, Cure Wounds at a 5th level. Nice. Good job. Moving down to 50 feet. 
Oh, so is that both that number is added together? Yeah, correct. Mm -hmm. Alright, 27. Thank you. And I'm gonna give uh, Stone Skull another point of inspiration on the way down. I feel like he's gonna need it. Maybe. We'll see. If anybody needs it, it's a dude hanging on to the back <laughs> of the dragon. Just to keep me up there. And uh, yeah, that, that on my turn. Alright, so flying down. Uh, how much movement speed do you have? 30 feet. So 80 to 50. Alright, you will be passing right by Linathon. He I figured I was entering his, entering his threat space, but I wouldn't be leaving it, right? Um, actually, yeah, you're right. He can reach out to ten feet. That was, so, that was, well, wait. That was my thought. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll we'll say it. His max range is wait. What is his height? Sixty, fifty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You're still within his range. Okay. Cool. All right. At cool. the end yeah. of your turn, oh. however, Stone Skull, a tail lashes out at you. Okay. 20. Uh, 20. Actually, it would be 21 because I am still on uh, reckless. Is, right? I'm reckless, though, but 21 is my AC, so it's going to hit. All right. Yeah, so it'll meet. All right. 14 bludgeoning damage. Okay. Down to uh, seven. Seven minus five for uh, Aegis, so two. And. Five temporary hit points for me. Yep, I'm. I still have two temporary hit points left. Uh, okay, got it. All right, all right. So tail hits Stone Skull. You see him just stumbling back a bit. Nah. All right, that's the end of his legendary action, Stone Skull. Uh, have to stand back up because I was kind of grabbing on to the scale anyway. Uh, mm -hmm. And as I do, bro. I'm just going to send him the friendly reminder that I'm still here, uh, kick him in the back, and then begin my assault. Uh, again, reckless. Damn, still missed. Or still didn't make it. Uh, so three bludgeoning from the kick, and then three reckless attacks. 21. 21. And 22. Okay, all three hit. Nice. Uh, first and second. Uh, so 30, 44. Okay. And then uh, 20. All right. 64. <laughs> Holy crap. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. as Stone Skull stands back up, screaming in his rage as he brings down batting off this tail attack, stabs Gleam Edge him once, rips it out with the second attack, cleaving through the scales and this wounded Just flesh. Angry. You see the third attack coming down, and as he does so, you see Linathon's body completely jerk downwards from the impact of it. Ooh. And you see Stone Skull and Linathon falling to the ground. Uh, deck save? Yes. Okay. 16. Alright. So you will take half damage, able to uh, use okay. the body of Linathon to try to break your fall a bit. Mm. Uh, get her to the fall damage. <laughs> the body has even been relegated to the past tense. <laughs> uh, oh, we so... just fight on the ground now. Pretty much. This so is also the second time. Eight. Yeah. Hitting down to the ground. Uh, as both of you sink down all the way, impacting so, off the side of this building, you see Stone seven. Skull kind of rolling off to the side as Linathon's body collapses downwards. Everybody give me perception checks. Uh, perception. <laughs> no idea what happened. <laughs> Not a clue. Terry oh, throwing right. stuff up into the air and all of a sudden bang like the dragon falls. Did I hit him? <laughs> Did I get it? <laughs> As you see Linathon and Stone Skull go plummeting to the ground kind of in the slow motion. Uh, Terra not seeing this obviously, but Terra feeling the impact. 
uh, of this large dragon hitting the ground. You see his body twisted and such. More of the scales rip off. Uh, you can now see several exposed pieces of skeleton down beneath his bone, or down beneath his scales that have just been completely torn apart by all the damage that Stone Skull and the, uh, and the rest of you have done uh, with Ignalia sending radiant and fire damage into him. As his body lands, lands heavily to the ground, just a heavy boom. You see Stone Skull rolling off to the side, taking some damage, but standing back up. Then you all see a strange sight. Those of you in tune with Radiance, with clerical-type powers and nope. such. Mm -mm. Um, Not me. Uh, okay, what? sorry. What? Discord exploded. <laughs> sorry, I several I notifications. I freaked out. Uh, those of you in tune with radiant energy and such feel this deep necrotic energy coming from Linathon. And then you see his body jerk in an unnatural fashion. It jerks again. You see now, alive. instead of damage ripping his scales off, some of them begin to just slosh off with his flesh no. and muscle. And you see his body beginning to stumble, its bones cracking and reshaping themselves as he begins to stand back up. Oh, I don't think so. Oh, snap. Let's see it. This feels like some horrible homebrew from Havoc. <laughs> Where is my token? Oh, dude, the visual of, there like, his, its skeleton crawling up out of, like, the wounds on its back. Like, yeah. Ah, no, ah, have we seen that before? I feel like we've seen that before. That, that's, that's, yeah. You see the skin ripping off oh, of yeah. Linathon as this bestial roar, no sentience of life really, or intelligence coming from his voice, but instead these dark, now empty eye sockets looking around towards you all, as you all recognize what appears to be a Draco Lich before you. Phase two, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. yes. All right, Stone Skull, you landed on the ground. Didn't take too much damage, but this thing is now undead and moving towards you. Yeah. Rogar. It is still marked, though. I'm blaming this. Oh, boy. Scott. Listen, Steve. <laughs> Just, it's your fault. You always bring it how? up. Your Tell me how it's my fault. It's your fault. <laughs> Listen, I'm soaking up the nat ones. You should be thanking me. I am. For now. Stone Skull did so um, much damage to him. Uh, he needs to stay on the ground, it. or else I'm yeah. going to be screwed. Okay. 24 will hit. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Stone Skull is nearby, so you'll get sneak attack. Yep. Yep. Alright. Oh, they don't have to be in within threat range, just nearby. Alright. I'll take it. Dull. Has to be within five feet to get it. Fuck okay. it. Transition went much better whenever I did it the first time in testing, but it has broken a couple things, so give me a second. Hold on. <laughs> I no longer have a blue dragon stat sheet. It's gone. This is unfortunate. Gosh darn it. Urgh. You know what? All right, so as you fire off, uh, doing 26 points of damage, uh, you see that instead of impacting flesh, you see the arrow hitting into bone and kind of cracking it a bit. Obviously doing damage, but you see Linathon, or what used to be the dragon Linathon, just moving around, lumbering up, still kind of setting its bones and such. Um, you did damage with your attack. Anything else on your turn? Uh, nope. Alright. And as we get to where Terra is now feeling a somewhat different creature in her mind's eye from her powers, we're going to go ahead and take our five minute break. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's good. It's okay. <laughs> Mr. Pebbles doesn't care what he hits. Alright, so chat, don't go anywhere. I'm going to briefly end the stream so I can reset some of the stream settings. 
and see if I can fix this because we're getting a bunch of drop frames. I want to fix it unless it's not uh, unless it's not been an issue for you guys and you're not seeing any issues. Uh, I'll pause for a few minutes uh, for you guys to give your feedback. Uh, but if that's the case and you guys aren't seeing issues, I won't do anything with it. I'll just do it after stream. Uh, but uh, either way, just let me know uh, as we're on break. I'll figure out what to do with it. Uh, but yeah, give your feedback. Uh, we'll take our five-minute break. When we come back, uh, we're fighting a uh, blue Draco Lich, so don't go anywhere. We're live. Their priorities. Yeah, two grand in this machine. Gotta gotta save it if it gets crazy. All right, so continuing on, Linathon has somehow transformed himself on, upon dying, because uh, you all did clearly see that Linathon was dead from Stone Skull's last attacks, uh, but somehow he has transformed himself into a Draco Lich. Uh, and with that, Rogar getting an attack off with his longbow, we move to Terra. Uh, Mr. Pebbles is gonna get up in there first. <laughs> and he's gonna make his attacks. Do it, Mr. Pebbles. And Mr. Pebbles is gonna suck again. Man. Pebbles misses both his attacks. Alright, and then... He's standing in yeah, all two previous, oh, like, dragon body parts. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I can do this. Alright. Twin spell again. Does either one hit? Twenty will hit. We're doing that at level six. Okay. Just beefing the fuck out of it. I hit. I'm going to make it hurt. That's not terrible, I guess. No. And that will end my turn. 32 points of damage hitting into the side of Undead Linathon. Uh, doing a good chunk of damage. Uh, but the altar, or ulterior, I guess, affects the spell just not able to move this huge creature around. Alright. Mr. Bell swings twice, slipping in the goo that was Linthon's flesh, unable to gain purchase on him. Ignalia, you see a now undead dragon below you. My paladin blood rages at the sight of mm -hmm. undead. <laughs> Mine too. I know. Me and Max are just kind of floating in the sky, kind of trying to control ourselves. <laughs> I'm just like to... stoic nods at one another, like, yeah. <laughs> Deuce Volt, <laughs> and then we drop from the sky. The radiant uh, boners are real. Oh, it's so real. <laughs> All right. I'm going to swing over here because he's on the ground for now, right? Yeah, he's clearly on the ground. His perpetual or effective flight capacity seems to be quite limited. Okay, that was going to be my next question is do his wings look capable of flight or not? Doesn't look like they're going to be able to carry his body anymore. Cool. Alright, so I'll be 10 feet off the ground over here. And, yep. If I roll another nat one, I'm just going to cry. Alright, <laughs> first one. Yep. Uh, one will hit. Um, okay, yeah, smite. Okay. Uh, he is undead, so I can add on the extra d8, right? 1000% undead. Fantastic. <laughs> The skeleton is undead. I just want to make sure. <laughs> Everything in your body is screaming unnatural undeath. Give me a total on that. 748. Okay. 55 okay. points of damage. Okay. Here we go. Just, just gonna There's calmly. no way you can do it three times in a row, right? Thank you no, for saying No, you fucking that. said it. You fucking said it. <laughs> <sighs> All right. <laughs> Oh Almost. No. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, okay, well, I'm going to use his piece of shit inspiration just to see if he'll... Don't just it. burn it. Come on. Nope, all right. Look. Didn't happen. He's full yeah. ass. Even with the inspiration, you just cannot detonate this judgment spell, unfortunately. Okay. Um. Well, he still glows until next turn, though. Right. Uh, yes, I think it was one turn is what we decided. Oh, actually, we, yeah, it would have been going off earlier then. Shit. Oh, well. Oh, well. Um, okay. Uh, then, yeah, one more uh, regular longsword with the extra action. Okay. 
<laughs> All right, just All right. <laughs> yeah, swinging away. This creature, first time you really fought a, a this powerful of an undead. Uh, it's a little disturbing. You're able to hit with your first attack, radiant energy suffusing into his body as you smite. Um, you see several bones kind of shattering in his ribcage where your blade hit. Uh, doing a good chunk of damage, but just the other two as his body rise unnaturally back and forth, jerking out more bones snapping into place as he seems to finally uh, be riding his body correctly. Yeah. Able to hit him once, just not with the other two. Ugh, story, story of my life. And at this point, with his body right before his turn riding itself, his wings, instead of beating out air to bludgeon into you, just see these shards of bone beating outwards. I need Mr. Pebbles, Ignalia, and Stone Skull to give me dexterity saving throws. Wow, that's about as good as it'll ever get for me. <laughs> right? That's pretty solid. A Still gonna fail, but you know. Yeah. I yeah. Totally no. Fail that. All right. Everybody fails as this wing attack shoots shards of bone into your body. You all take sixteen points of piercing damage as they stab into you, and you are 16, all eight, all you falling to the five, ground, not taking any damage three. from it, but you are prone. Prone. There we go. Alright. And Stone Skull prone. Alright, now it is the Draco Lich's turn. You see, somewhat differently, where Linathon was very focused on Ignalia and the Blue Dragon Mask, this one whirls its head around looking at all these targets nearby and begins to attack indiscriminately at those closest. Um, oh, may have it. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Um because we took our break. I forgot. I couldn't talk that round. Oh, I, yeah. I oh, well, I forgot to. It's fine. Right, I forgot to. Being so. honest. Yep. It's even on both sides. I forgot about it as well, so just let it fly. All right. Um, yeah, he's just going to attack. He's not going to use his lightning breath. Uh, so he is going to look at these three targets. Uh, so Stone's goal is going to catch two attacks, and Ignalia is going to catch one. One claw at Ignalia, claw and a bite at Stone Skull. So Stone Skull first, bite uh, with advantage, 16. Fails. Uh, claw with advantage, uh, 21. Fails. Uh, meets. Oh, wait, that's to Ignalia? No, that's at Stone Skull. Oh. oh, you're two uh, first. Okay, uh, the 21 does hit. Okay, so that's 12 slashing damage. Okay. And then uh, the claw at Ignalia, so 25. 133. Um, yeah, I will reaction, uh, shield. Okay. All right, so you see the claw bearing and so carving cool. through Stone Skull's flesh, doing a little bit of damage. Uh, the next one going into Ignalia, but as it gets right next to her, this it just stops in place as this arcane shield appears. Uh, that would technically have disadvantage against Ignalia. B. Because I made contact with my last ability, or last hit, and unwavering mark would make it a disadvantage. All right. Okay. All right. So you don't have to burn the shield if you don't want to, Ignalia. You'll just miss. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, we'll take my spell slot back. Okay. All right. More smiting. Mighty Smiter. Or Smiting. All right. Uh, Maximilian, Smiter. there is now an undre undead dragon below you. I am going to do the same as Ignalia. Move down to 20 feet. And... Unload. Nice. 24 <clears> to 23 <throat> will both hit. Beautiful. Um, I'm going to smite on both... Go ahead and roll your regular damage first, so I can get that out of the way. Um, okay, sorry. So it'll be 16. 16. Okay. The first smite. Nice. And the second. Nice. 36 radiant. All right. Solid. Okay. Anything else? Max. 
Max, anything else? You're muted. Uh, okay, I'm assuming that's the end of this turn then. Yep. Sorry, Alrighty. yeah. I, I, okay. My cat literally jumped off of like my lap because one of the dogs moved and yanked my phone <laughs> and headset and head in the headset just completely out. <laughs> just scattered everything across the floor. <laughs> just like, well, you little shit. All right. Yeah. So two heavy hits. Uh, the radiant, the sword not doing a whole lot, but the radiant energy from the sword uh, bursting several of these bones apart, uh, doing some consistent damage to him. Hurt a little bit. All right. And at this point, the end of your turn. Uh, Ignalia is going to catch a tail attack. A 26 to hit. 24 to hit. Um, Still disadvantage. Every okay, attack not focused doesn't. at me is disadvantage. Regardless, my shield is still up, so he doesn't meet... Well, you hadn't cast shield. You didn't cast shield. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, you're right. I'm going to uh, warding maneuver for my reaction on this. So minus okay. five off that. Yeah, so it misses. Okay. No more reaction. Okay, that's its turn. Or Max's turn, rather. So let's go, your turn. My turn. Uh... So I'm going to continue my assault on this thing, uh, take half my movement to stand up, uh, because I am pro. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to, uh, reckless attack, uh, one, two, and three. All right, all three hit. Okay. Um, there's those two, so figure that out in a second. Um, and then with uh unwavering mark I'm going to use my bonus action to deal an additional attack uh, because he dealt damage did he deal damage to somebody uh, you and nope you never hit me in the end yep never hit him so oh yeah cause that that was the uh, attack that hit uh, Mr. Pebbles wasn't a direct attack, so that doesn't count. So uh, that'll be my turn. Yeah, that's it. Okay, all right, got my math done. All right, Stone Skull swiping three times, able to hit all three That's of them as he continues to just too. stand in the way of this creature, trying to distract it uh, with his unwavering mark. Mm -hmm. uh, doing a good job, doing some good damage. Rogar, it's back to you. All right, now I'll move in. Reactions and reset, gentlemen. which is good. And have a way. Thirteen will miss. Yep. It will. Feels bad, man. It does. It feels you, uh, bad, man. Appreciate you soaking up some of the low roll karma for me. <laughs> You're welcome. And yeah, I'm good. All right, Rogar stepping forward, uh, stabbing outwards, just unfortunately glances off one of the bones, just stabbing into empty air, unfortunately. Uh, it's dancing backwards as he does so. Just unable to damage this creature. Um, another tail attack coming out. All these targets. One, two, three, four, five of them now. Uh, this time it Magnolia again. Yeah, I could tell. A 30 to 23, sorry. Uh, 23 will meet, so I'll shield. All right, finally able to use your reaction to shield up. This time, 
once again hitting into the arcane barrier as his tail lashes down, bouncing Getting off prepared. of it. Terra. Um, bonus action to have Mr. Pebbles stand up and try again. Okay. Yeah. Slam, Kill him, Mr. Pebbles. <laughs> Damn it, Mr. Pebbles is off his Those game. rolls today. Damn it, Smalls. Ugh. And so, I will uh, also join Mr. Ouch. Pebbles in chain. That will in my just turn. Impacting into Rough. it, just this unnatural hardness to his bones, just stopping all of your attacks. Uh, slipping, Mr. Pebbles once again slipping around on gross undead flesh down beneath his feet. Ignalia. No, oh, hey. Uh, all right. Yeah, I'll just kind of, well, I'll stand up from prone and then launch myself, I don't know, how tall is he? If I'm like 15 feet up, am I still uh, in range? Still of within him? this range, yeah. Okay, yeah, so I'll use my full movement to get about 15 feet up. Okay. <sighs> I can only do this so many times. <laughs> um, repeat the order. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> god. Yup. Well. Wow. Wowee. Yep. Alright. Oh. I think you always losing her faith tonight. I think, I think <laughs> we have to keep this uh, right. Drake Lich on uh, the ground yeah. because I'm right. the only so one hitting So you swing the blade, thing. you see the radiant energy just kind of suffuses itself at the hilt instead of on the blade, not doing anything. Um, you, uh, it's... it's fires in an unexpected manner. Uh, your confidence in your abilities begins to falter. Uh, you have disadvantage on any spell attacks and enemies have advantage against your spell saving throws until the end of your next turn. That's rough. Okay. Man, so that's really rough. Attacks would, or spell attacks are at disadvantage now? Correct. <laughs> okay, well, at this point I'm just going to play for flavor, so she is Can't be still growing from last turn, one. so she is still going to quicken spell, try to uh, get it off one more time. All right. With disadvantage. Ooh, an eighteen. Not as terrible uh, as I, I thought. Damn, I should have saved Willie's inspiration. If only somebody said, "Don't use that." <laughs> Oh, I know. <laughs> Once again, another glancing blow off the bones, just unable to make full contact. Uh, all right, final action. Simple, shitty, long sword swing. Okay. All right. Also, <laughs> <defensive> <laughs> blow, just unable to hit this Man. creature. Just something about him is just unsettling you to no end. Um, and another tail attack comes out at the end of your turn. Uh, this time going at Stone Skull. Yeah. A 29 to hit. Yeah. All right. 13 blood. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Get him over here. There we go. Uh, that's uh, oh, here she comes. To that's save six. The so it's one. Hit. Nineteen one. hits, guys. It's one. Four twenty-three. Well, we found it. AC acquired. I almost buffed AC on this guy too. He's bones. All right. We need uh, bear so tail... over here to complete the circle. <laughs> we tail attack comes up. out, hitting Stone Skull. You see him stumbling backwards a bit, but then boop, you see Terra appearing, swinging her Silver Aegis maul through the air, uh, hitting into and shattering some of the bones of this Draco Lich. Uh, seems like you're starting to do damage to him as it becomes his turn. Convenient. What's he going to do? Hmm. Well, he's, he's not too smart. Uh. Okay, we'll just make it. Check. Nope. Okay, he's going to attack three times. Are there six targets now? All right. Uh, Stone Skull catching the fight. Then a claw at Ignalia. And then another claw at Rogar. So starting with Stone Skull with the bite. Yep. Natural 20. Uh, yep. Okay. That is going to do uh, 42 piercing damage and 8 lightning damage. Okay. 
Uh, 42 halved is 21 minus 5 is 16. Mm -hmm. So 16 and 8 lightning. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, then the next one was an Ignalia claw attack. Uh, misses. And then the last one was at Roga, another claw attack. A 17 to hit. Yes. One Catches you for 12 or. Yeah. Got yeah. If, he, if he's already called it, I can't do anything. All right. 12 slashing damage, Roga. First time you've been touched, make sure you get rid of your tip HP first. Yep. Alright. Oh, did they re-up the warning? Yep. <laughs> Another severe thunderstorm warning re-upped. Yeah, I just All got right. one too. Uh, that will be his turn. Maximilian. Um, it's time to keep beating on this thing. Do it. Do it. Do it. 20 will hit, 18 will not. Alright. So 12, and I will smite. Okay. For 24 more, so 36 total. Alright. Beefy hit. That was a really good hit. Alright, anything and... else? No. That'll be it. All right, swinging your antagonist through the air, able to connect the first time. Uh, radiant energy bursting more of um, some of the bones, cracking them through. Uh, you're seeing that it's starting to show. More of the bones are cracked or torn apart and such than are uh, still connected on this creature. Stone Skull. Uh, Stone Skull is going to... Oh, who am I kidding? He's going to do what he always does. <laughs> uh, oh my reckless attack. <laughs> God. Oh. I'm sorry, guys. I I'm taking all of the good it. rolls. No, I can't do it. I'm sorry. Ah, streamer loot. Streamer loot uh -huh. today. Yep. All three once again hit. <laughs> uh, okay, so there's the nat 20. And, ooh, good damage on the rend on the second attack. Mm -hmm. And then, nice. Mm. Um, and then half movement, stomp the ground directly in front of it. Hey, it saves. Okay, no damage for that. All right. Um, Big meaty hits. Mm hmm. <laughs> uh,. Oh, and I am because the attack did hit Rogar. I'm going to use my unwavering mark to make my uh, bonus action attack. Okay. Which is also an advantage because it still falls under the other. 25. Right. Still a hit. Uh, so that'll catch Rind as well. <laughs> so not 26 missing, apparently. Just not missing yeah. anything, just attacking everything. The blender's on it's... frap hay right now. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's my turn. All right, lots of hits, lots of broken bones. This creature is starting to look weaker. Uh, yeah, got him down a bit now. Rogar. All right. Once more with feeling. Twenty hey. hits. Rogar. Go ahead and describe how you killed the Draco Lich. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the bitch! Yeah. Another notch on the old belt. Uh, I no, I wasn't expecting to hit, but we're still. <laughs> I did. I don't know. Dealer's choice. Does does the <clears throat> all right? Does the bear still have movement? Cause I'm gonna have him go and attack uh, Rogar now. <laughs> <laughs> the guy that I with? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. So Rogar stepping forward, seeing kind of the back end of this dragon being torn away, torn asunder by Gleam Edge. 
Uh, you see as Rogar dances forward, and as he does so, he gets down underneath Undead Linathon's head and stabs the gentleman straight up. You can hear just this breaking, crunching sound as this rapier stabs straight up into the skull. For a moment, you see the dragon lurch, and they come to a stop. And then you see its body falling over down to two knees, and then all the way down, falling prone onto the ground. This clattering, you know, clattering sound of bones smashing together as it hits the ground, uh, rumbling and no longer moving. Oh, the uh, the skull falls on top of Rogar, right? Like the howl is spot under his jaw, just like stroll out out of its mouth. Like, well, excuse me. <laughs> just gonna climbs back out. You see, uh, Rogar like disappearing underneath all these bones, but then walks back out unharmed. Like right. the badass that he is. Not me. Dusted himself off. Stone skull at all. <laughs> Rogar's right. like, I'm not looking at him. I'm not looking at him. I'm not William at him. Stone skull. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy thing, right? The dragon falling like that? You don't think it was me that did that, right? <laughs> Couldn't have been me. Hold on. So as you all look at this undead dragon, everybody... But Tara, make perception checks. Uh, I'm going to make mine at disadvantage because I'm still raging. I'm not at all. I'm alert. Not that it mattered because I, I still rolled a <laughs> one naturally. So, As you're all looking, seeing this now undead and fully dead dragon uh, laying on the ground you kind of have a circle of bodies around it you all glance back and forth at each other as the morning sun begins to shine even more you see um, all around you just this carnage of what happened to this town assumingly while you were resting it can't be called much of a village anymore it's not livable. Most of the buildings are torn apart on fire, still some of them smoke rising up, and even though this dragon is now dead, you glance over at the bodies to your northwest, who Linathon and Yeah. Said we're the last ones <laughs> here in Zonthal's Tower. You see that this town has been decimated by yet another dragon belonging to the cult. And you notice one other thing. Ignalia, Rogar, Maximilian, do you, your gaze happens to stop on Ignalia, still wearing this dragon mask that looks somewhat similar to Linathon's face, but you see as Ignalia's eyes shining through become a bit more clear, and you see a large crack going down the dragon mask from the top all the way down to the bottom as it falls into two pieces. At Ignalia's feet. What? And that what? is where we're going to end the session for the evening. Oh, oh man, mother! Ah, <laughs> uh, no, no! Don't what did you, you that? What did you do wrong, Ignalia? <laughs> well, well done, Ignalia. Thanks. Appreciate yeah, way it. Way to go. Jesus. It, didn't even, it wasn't even a day. You take yeah. one nap with one it job. and break it. You one take job. one nap with the thing and it's already broken. Jesus Christ. He left. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> he actually left. <laughs> yeah. Rage quit. Rage quit. Fuck this. I'm done. This mask was so cool. <laughs> All right, I'm going to end stream. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah, Jesus.